Hey guys! Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Mystic Quest! Last time, we freed the boulder from the mine, which allows us access to a sealed temple. I wonder what could possibly be here. Cup of coffee. Now, if you remember earlier in the game, uh, Ben's allowance was 2 GP a month. How expensive is coffee in this universe? Whoa! Yeah, I got, <laughs> I got no idea. I could go for some coffee. Well, tea. I prefer tea. Stop that. Stop running around in circles. Your potions. And I believe we have this one. Uh, I believe this is the Wintry Temple or something like that. We've been there before anyway. It's the only way to get in there. But uh, yeah. that was uh, somewhere else. Uh, now that we've finished all that up, we should probably go check on uh, Ryubin's father. Make sure he's uh, doing okay while we're here. Maybe take a rest in the inn since uh, definitely uh, took a beating there. Go. Sure, we'll stay. Thing is, I don't think I ever normally use this uh, inn and I almost never go up those stairs. It's kind of weird. Anyway. So let's go see uh, what's going on there. Most of the people don't say anything different or at least nothing particularly interesting that's different. Uh, let's see. Let's go talk to you. Game. Crystal of fire is in the lava dome. Really? The fire crystal is in the volcano. No shit. Anyway, I don't think there's anything else we can do here at the moment. So yeah, I am going to head up here to the new battlefield and we'll clean out all of these except for the last one. Okay, here we go. And the new enemy in here is the uh, ghost dude, I believe. Uh, still got some red bones from before. Um, you can one-shot one of these guys with a bomb or with a thunder spell. Barely with a thunder spell. So usually what I've been doing is I've been using Blizzard on that one and having uh, Ryubin go after the, uh, the ghost there. Since, of course, they're weak to ice. Red bone, red skeleton, weak to ice instead of fire. Makes sense. I like being strong. He, this guy's strong against, um, oh, what is it? Uh, Blizzard, by the way. So don't use that. But yeah, they are they can duplicate themselves. I think they have flick status effects. They didn't really do any of that while I was in there. So uh, I guess don't worry too much about it. Here we are at the volcano. Now, first things first, we're going to head up this part of the area. We're going to go uh, after things in a somewhat uh, specific manner in order to get a couple of items first and foremost. Here we've got two new enemies, the wolves, I think they do confusion, and the nightmare. Now, unfortunately, it's not the cool nightmares like from Code Geass, but oh well. Uh, let's see, a new uh, spell. I believe I can use thunder on those guys. I can't remember if there's anything interesting about the nightmares. Oh, okay, I can just barely one-shot them. Oh yeah, they can cast Quake on you, which is probably going to hurt a little bit. I don't think I'm protected against it. I should probably heal. But Ryubin can one-shot pretty much anybody around here, save for the biggies. There's uh, a few of the bigger enemies that are old bosses, or look like old bosses. And here we get the White Spell, basically holy, and it is very, very powerful. Like Quake, it targets everybody at all times, and you really really want to make good use of that. For fighting you, let's use some more pure potions since we get way more than we'll ever need in this game. Oftentimes with the uh, cure potions, I end up maxing myself out on them long before the end of the game. Um, can use a bomb against them as long as he goes first, criticals them and annihilates them, and then we go with the bomb. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I just tend to use healing spells more often than I use um, anything else. Okay, so both the wolves and the nightmare enemies are both weak to uh, Blizzard, so make good uh, use of that. Your chances are you're going to run out of spell charges as you're going through in a number of the areas heading forward, and don't worry about them. We hope we have access to no buying seeds now, so it really doesn't matter. We can heal ourselves at any time we need to and make liberal use of them because they're very cheap and it makes things a lot easier when you can cast the spells that you have instead of 
you know, using normal attacks all the time. Anyway, so yeah, we did that. Now we want to head up here. Now you'll notice that the screen looks a wee bit different than the rest of the areas. We want to head down here first. Uh, do note though that uh, this is the gas that was mentioned in town. Something about a gas mask needing to see some of the monsters. And in order to actually see them, can I move? Thank you. We are definitely going to need to uh, get the gas mask, which is the next thing we're heading for. But it should be up here. I believe over to the left, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, after that battle, we can uh, now head on up here. And here there's no gas, so I guess you go through layers and it's fine below and it's fine above, but not in the middle. And after clearing out those battles, we have access to that treasure chest, as well as some cure potions. Whoop-dee-doo. More importantly, now that we have access, go up the ladder, thank you. To the mask, we can now see all the enemies down below. It's the same mechanic they used in the uh, previous dungeon. You'll be able to see some monsters floating around here now. So now that we've done that, we can head down a little bit. I believe there's something up here. Yes. There we go. Some more bombs. Uh, you get a lot of bombs coming up, so if you want to use them, make uh, free reign of them. You'll see that there's a bunch of enemies that we weren't able to see before. Probably should have done all this backtracking off screen, but can I move? Thank you. There we go. All right. So now there are more things we can do on the base floor, but I am going to fight this guy first because I can't remember what's up there. Okay, so that way is the way forward. We don't actually want to go that way now that I've double checked my map. Uh, the other thing is those nightmare enemies are very weak to lightning. You can uh, actually one-shot two of them with a multi-targeted lightning spell, assuming uh, Ryuben's able to kill the, uh, the other one first, assuming there's three in the battle. Right, so let's go explore the uh, right side here. There's a bunch more enemies and some more treasure. Okay, so after clearing out all the enemies on this screen, uh, we have a little bit of treasure to collect down here. I also uh, ran out of spell charges a little while ago, so I finally used a, uh, a seed on Benjamin to get all my spell charges back. You want to keep your, um, your wizard elemental charges for the boss coming up, so don't waste any more uh, lightning spells. Just try and make do with Blizzard. Most enemies are weak to Blizzard around here, including these ones. Sure, we'll show off a battle. We haven't shown off very many battles this episode. But yeah, Blizzard spell one-shots them, a bomb one-shots them. Uh, a thunder spell can one-shot them, even though they're not weak to it, but uh, it's just pretty powerful at this point. Uh, the white spell can one-shot two of a bunch of different enemies in here, but uh, not all of them. Nope, there we go. Let's finish those guys off. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can take out pretty much any group of three enemies in two rounds here uh, with just your normal attacks, if you're so inclined. But that's entirely up to you. Uh, let's see if we can get lost in the uh, caverns here. One bomb. I'll meet you back on the previous floor. Okay, so after coming down the ladder, which is just to the right of the uh, far right door there, I just looped around through the first screen here and came all the way back here, just because it's pointless backtracking at this point. And I do believe I want to go up this way this time. Should bring me toward the end of the area. Yeah, the enemies are falling down pretty good for me here today. Let's go this way through this pattern over here. Fight some more guys that look like Cerberus from Final Fantasy VIII. And yeah, we can use normal attacks here. Sure, why not? Uh, you can use, oh, tried to inflict confuse, but it didn't work. Uh, you can use the heal spell here to try and take down some of the enemies and hopefully it will cast uh, petrify on them if you want. Um, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Probably better off just using a normal attack if you're gonna do that. Uh, we don't have the life spell for Benjamin, so we can't one shot a bunch of enemies with it yet. Okay, we're all finished taking care of all the enemies on this screen. There are a whole bunch of them, probably about 10 or so, so I figured I'd finish those guys off all off screen. And then if we head on up here, we get the cure potions, we get the heal potions, neither of which we really need at this point. 
You don't really need those once you get the uh, the proper spell. Uh, make sure you're healed up and make sure you got a full supply of uh, wizard charges. And we can fight Medusa. All right. First things first, uh, we want to use a blizzard spell to target you. And we want to target you. We'll kill the, uh, the small fry. Oh no, confusion. That's not good. We're going to need to heal that ASAP. I don't know why a dog's weak to water, but oh well. Uh, let's heal you. Well, at least you didn't hit me. Strong against poison attack. Awesome. Gotta love having status protection. Alright, so we got the claw on. Now, white, like any multi-targeting spell or bombs or anything like that, they all suffer from split damage. So, if you hack only a single target with them, all the damage that would have been split across all of the different uh, enemies will all be forced on one. Holy crap, look at all that damage. Awesome. I love finally having a really powerful spell like white. There are... Uh, Probably two really good ones that you like to use a lot of the time. And they're both wizard spells, uh, so it's nice to finally have one of them. Do uh, one more attack here, and then we'll uh, probably go for some healing. Whoa! Look at the snake hair go. Awesome. And whack him upside the head, and yeah, probably time for a good cure spell. Oh, we, uh, we declawed Medusa, you know, metaphorically speaking. <laughs> wow, that's hilarious. Uh, no, I don't want bombs. I want white spells. Oh, hit five times. That's, that's quite powerful. Yeah, this boss, very, very easy, other than the fact that she hits pretty hard and she hits with a lot of status effects. As far as HP goes, falls down pretty quickly. Hey, look, we have a use for a heal potion for once. Loot. Ah. So, now what? Well, now we can go to the Lava Dome proper. This has got to be one of the biggest areas I've ever seen. This is probably the biggest dungeon, if not the second biggest dungeon in the game. This place is big. Uh, these guys, I don't think, are actually weak to Blizzard. So we're going to try and go for a bomb and hope that Ryubin goes first, but he doesn't, so fine. Well, one of us is strong against fire. We're going to have to uh, remedy that very, very shortly here. In fact, that's uh, where I'll want to go first. Just with an axe there. Or a morning star. That works too. Uh, we're not going to head down there right away. We actually want to go over here first for the reason I was mentioning a moment ago. All right, so let's head into uh, this one first since it's just a very quick dead end. And it's got a couple of new enemies in it. Oh, more than I was expecting. We got the uh, vampire dudes and we've got avian lizards or something to that effect. I believe they are weak to uh, the... Let's see here. We got fire on those guys. And I don't think Ryuben can one-shot those guys. I think they're weak to wind, but I can't recall for sure. I think they die one hit to a thunder spell. You may... And I think white works really well against them. If you run into two of them, you can pro... I think you can one-shot both of them with a white spell, if I remember correctly. I'm trying to remember. I haven't uh, gone ahead and gone into uh, this area yet, so... Yeah, unfortunately, we can't uh, one-shot them that way. This is finally the point where you may want to think about making use of the life spell to one-shot some of your enemies. Uh, especially with Reuben if he can't normally one-shot them. That's only the one enemy so far that we've run into that uh, we'll have any problem with. And of course, turtles are weak to axe attacks for random reasons. So, one-shotting both of those is easy. And the vampire... Uh oh Let's blow him up. We can also use a fire spell if we want to. Mega Grenade should do enough damage to take him down. Yeah, there we go. Alright, and what do we got in here? Bombs! Which I don't really need anymore. Of course, before, I needed all the bombs in the world in the ice area. In the fire area, I don't need them at all, and they give me tons of them. Ah, we have another new enemy. We have Ninja Dudes. They are weak to lightning. 
actually, this is a good opportunity to make use of the white spell. I think I can destroy two of them. And unfortunately, he went first. Won't be able to kill anybody that way. But uh, I believe he can take out two of most of the enemies around here with a white spell. Especially if you got the clock whip. And he died because I haven't been healing. Uh, sigh. Do not kill him. Thank you. I want to get my life spell off first. Then I can kill him. Don't put Benjamin to sleep. Die. Alright, so you fall down. Yeah, they love to inflict sleepy time. No more sleepy time. Benjamin, get off your ass. And he leveled up. That's good. Alright. Let's get the cure spell out there. Ah, uh, we don't need to go that way yet. We actually want to go over this way, fight this guy again. Well, I was going to cut this one out, but I'll show it just because I believe you can one-shot uh, both of them this way. As with many enemies uh, that you fight around here. So, there we go. Uh, you could use the claw to fall down here. I would not recommend it. We do want to go into here first. Uh, we There's a couple of reasons for that. There's a whole bunch of enemies in this screen. Unless they're new, I'm going to cut them all out here. Okay, killed off uh, all those guys. It's kind of weird uh, how many white spell charges you get in this game, considering how seldom you plan to use them for the most part. Uh, bomb enough? No, bomb is not enough. I think Ryuben can one-shot her, though. There we go. It's just a rehash of the previous boss that's a hell of a lot weaker. Pressures, I'll never use. Cure potions. Alright, let's go over here. Now that we have bombs that we can throw, we can get ourselves on out of here. And we do want to head over here first. Fight you again, since you're easy enough. Put on an axe so I don't waste a bomb. Yeah, you get to be one-shotted by somebody. Awesome. Doesn't give a lot of experience, though. Alright, clear out these guys. Okay, if you run into those guys, the avian uh, lizards there, uh, if you run into three of them and you ran out of spell charges, bombs are the way to go. I've been actually using a whole bunch of them recently. Cure potions. And this guy. you often accompanied by the fangfires, and I still have not uh, recharged my spell charges. I probably should have done that. Um, yeah, let's go with the bomb, because Reuben is not able to one-shot this guy. Hopefully, we'll be able to... Uh, do that with the bomb now. Damn, that fire's starting to hurt. I really gotta get protection against that. Is that enough? It is enough. There we go. Uh, I'm almost dead. <laughs> See if we can uh, one-shot some enemies without having to uh, heal up. There we go. Awesome. Yeah, just a rehash of bosses we've seen before. And here we get the Moon Helm. I didn't want to go to the save screen. Uh, armor, the Moon Helm. Protection against fire. Awesome. I did reset, right? Yeah. Just making sure I reset so Ruben was protected against fire, too. But yeah, they give you so many white spell charges that you never really need to use. I've just been using them now. But uh, yeah, 25 white charges, 12 black. You're going to use 90% black charges in the first half of the game. And then you're going to start using wizard charges when you start getting enough and you start getting some of the more powerful spells. But anyway, that's pretty much all the time we have for today. Next time, we'll continue through the longest dungeon we've seen thus far and clear out the other side of this room. Anyway, that's all for this one, and I'll see you guys next time.